A Russian and Eastern European bakery right here in Nashville says it took down all Russian decorations and it did this to show it is fighting for Ukraine. News Force Marissa Sula talked to the owner today who says customers just keep flooding in Marissa to show their support. They do, Tracy, and so do members of the media as well. When we were here earlier, the owner did five media interviews in just an hour while we were there. And while she appreciates the exposure and support, it's her customers who appreciate what she's doing. Inside Alexi's quaint European bakery. Yeah, if you guys haven't had any of those, I suggest you order some. Strawberry, raspberry, apricot, plum butter. Uh, Customers like Richard Bougan. I like apricot. Line up for their Fat Tuesday punch key fix. They're busy, they're pumping these things out, but they can't keep up with the man. The sign outside says this is a Russian and Eastern European bakery. But inside, people and products show pride for Ukraine. I am from Ukraine. I lived in Ukraine um, like half of my life. Jane Vajernuk is the bakery's owner. She made the decision to get rid of all Russian flags and decorations, so the attention is on her home. Last few days, a lot of people just come to the store to support us, to buy something, to support Ukraine. She says she has friends and family in Ukraine right now during the Russian invasion which she tries to keep out of her mind. We're just trying to keep us even more busy than usually because we always think about the situation in Ukraine. We hope that after all what's happening, it will continue, you know. No matter what happens overseas, this customer community knows where their support lies. Thank you for being here and thank you for making some good fun. Thank you. <laughs> The owner says the proceeds from all the punch key sales will go to Ukraine. And they say tomorrow, with it being Fat Tuesday, it is their busiest day. So if you plan to get punch keys, order ahead. Tracy. All right. Thank you for the heads up and the inspiring story, Marissa. Thank you.